غيّة الضلالة والخراب error and the consequence of error the destruction that comes as a result of your error next ayah inshallah ah okay إلا من تاب وآمن وعمل صالحا فأولئك يدخلون الجنة ولا يظلمون شيئا now in the in in the Quran every time you see the word illa subhanallah when Allah azza wa jal makes a severe threat he always qualifies the severe threat with illa, right? And illa in the Arabic language, uh, the purpose that it would serve, it would be like saying, of course, it means uh, accept, okay? Accept. Now, Allah Azza wa Jal, when He keeps on singling out illa, illa man taba wa amana. And Imam Hassan al Basri rahimahullah, he comments, for example, in Surah Al Buruj. Even when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the most heinous crime on earth, Allah Azza wa Jal still says, Thumma lam yatubu. He still says, Illa man taba. He still gives an opening for repentance. Imam Hassan al Basri rahimahullah, he says about, specifically about Ashab al Ukhdud, but think about it. He says, Unzuru ila al karami wal jud. Look at the benevolence and the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qatalu awliya'a. Even the people that murdered his most beloved, wa huwa yad'uhum. And he's calling them to mercy and forgiveness. Every time Allah says, Illa man taba, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is offering a qualifier and giving an opening for repentance. That no matter what, you still have a chance to repent. And Illa man taba wa amana wa amila saliha. Of course, after you make tawbah, you have to follow that up with concrete um, deeds. And subhanAllah, this is something, you know, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He teaches, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, At-ta'ibu min al-dhambi kama la dhamba la. The at-ta'ibu min al-dhamb, the one who, the one who repents from a sin, kama la dhamba lahu, is like the one who never sinned. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is offering them a chance for repentance. And then what's so important about this, يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ It's one thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them that you're not going to be punished. But Allah azza wa jal immediately afterwards is saying, if you repent, you're going to be entered into paradise. And subhanAllah, this is something that's very, very important for us um, to understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always in the Qur'an affiliates tawbah with success. تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ With tawbah comes paradise. With repenting comes paradise. Leaving something that's displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm going to, not only are you going to be forgiven, you're going to be rewarded. And then a very beautiful uh, statement at the end, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ شَيْئًا And they will not be wronged at all. One of the most beautiful attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Ghafoor. What does Al-Ghafoor mean? Anyone know? Anyone want to explain that to me? See, in English, it's just most merciful, forgiving, all that stuff. What is it? That's, that's Al-Munib, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Ghafoor, the Arabs used to say, Ghafra ta'am. Ghafoor means to cover something up. Okay? So to keep food warm, Ghafra ta'am, he would cover the food. So Al-Ghafoor means he will cover it up. Meaning what? You know in English when you say let's bury the hatchet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala buries the hatchet. Allah azza wa jal does not hold grudges. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't hold grudges. He's not going to hold you accountable for your previous sins. No matter how disgusting they were, as long as you repented from them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look how perfect He is subhanahu wa ta'ala. How blessed we are. Allah azza wa jal is al-ghafoor. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I'll just mention this since we brought up Surah Al-Buruj. وَهُوَ الْغَفُورُ الْوَدُودُ Right? Usually Allah says غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ Right? غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He covers it up and He's merciful with you. Okay? So you're not going to be punished in any way for your previous sins. He's going to forgive you for it. And we say, in, you know, we say to each other forgive and forget. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't forget in, in, the, in the sense of memory. But Allah azza wa jal will not bring it to, to taunt you with it ever again in your entire existence and He will show mercy to you. And he's Rahim, Rahmanun fi dunya, Rahimun fi akhirah. His mercy will be there for you in the akhirah. But in particular, in Surah Al-Buruj, 
when he offers this repentance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ghafoor al wadud. He's forgiving, and at the same time, al wud. Al wud in the Arabic language is to exaggerate, exaggerate your love, to intensely love someone. It's stronger than hub, it's the intensive form of hub. What does that mean? If someone harms you and you forgive them, even if you bury the hatchet and you take it a step further and you say, I'm not going to hold you accountable for what you did in the past. Will you really be capable of loving that person the way that you loved them before they harmed you? No. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bury the hatchet and will intensely love you. Ghafoor al-Wadud, he's still capable subhanahu wa ta'ala of exaggerating his love for you. And that's one of the, the so beautiful uh, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the, in the hadith where the Messenger وسلم, tells us about the man Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Lallahu ashaddu farahan bi tawbati ahadikum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more happy and pleased with your repentance than a man who's lost, in the, who's in the desert who has taken with him all of his possessions in the desert and his camel, his camel is his only means of transportation and he loses his camel and everything with it and then he comes across that camel, he finds his camel and he calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so happy that he says, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, I am your Lord and you are my servant. Out of mistake, because of how happy he is, he jumbles his words and he said, you are my servant and I am your Lord. Because of how happy it is, he is, he can't talk anymore. He's mixing up his words. Allah is more pleased with your repentance than that man. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to forgive you. He's pleased with your repentance. He's more happy with your repentance than you are with your repentance. Subhanallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately after the threat opens the door of repentance. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts to describe al-jannah. Go to the next one. <laughs>